When it comes to buying a commercial pressure washer for under £500, you tend to find yourself a bit limited for choices. So you end up going for something like a Karcher K7, or you go for one of these, which is a Neil Fisk P180. But what if I told you that Karcher have bought out not one, but two brand new commercial pressure washers, and you haven't even heard the best bit yet, one of these machines that I'm about to feature is going to cost no more than £255. You may think I'm lying, but I'm not. Karcher are back. Previously on the channel, I had tested many domestic machines, including the Karcher K2, the K5, the K5 Compact, the K7, and not forgetting all the accessories that work with all the K-series models. And it's fair to say I've been a little bit critical of them. It's not good enough. But what people fail to realise is over my long lifespan of being a car cleaner, I have had three commercial machines, and all of them have been absolutely brilliant. However, there was one big problem, and that was the incredibly high price. So I got in touch with cleanstore.co.uk to see if they could let me borrow these two brand new models. So we have the Karcher HD48 Classic, and we have the HD410 Classic. With the previous Karcher professionals, one of the biggest problems that they had was these silly little easy lock fittings that came with it. Basically, it meant if you wanted to put anything on it, it had to be Karcher, and Karcher are very expensive, so you couldn't tailor it the way you wanted. So if I wanted to put my own stubby gun on a Karcher commercial, it would cost me a heck of a lot more money to get it done. So not only were Karcher being clever, they're also being a little bit too sneaky for my liking. This time around they have completely scrapped those annoying easy lock connections and instead they've gone for the bog standard screw on thread which means you can basically adapt this any way you like so you can shop around for a better deal. So if you quickly look at these at a glance you may notice that both of these machines look pretty much identical but they're not, there are a few differences. So what I'm now gonna do is give you a little table showing you everything that's different about them. But I'm also gonna chuck one more machine into the mix for you guys. And I think you're gonna like this one because I'm going to throw in a Karcher K4 to give you another comparison between these commercial machines and your average domestic one. The HD48 has the same budget hose as the K4, whereas the 410 has a heavy duty one, which will outperform the others all day long. So the 4.8 and the K4 didn't have a hose reel, which wasn't a deal breaker for me, but it did make a big difference when storing it away in the van. The Lance is another strong point for the Karcher. Everything feels so solid, and I never would have thought I'd even said that about a Karcher. The trigger as well feels pretty nice and comfortable. You don't get any hand fatigue. I've been using this pretty much every single day for the last week or so. I've had no problems with it. It's nice and soft, but I just love the fact that it feels like a proper solid raw bit of kit. The bar pressure and flow rate is very similar with all models, but honestly, you need to take these figures with a pinch of salt because that's the maximum bar pressure tested under the manufacturer's conditions, not necessarily real world conditions. Also, you need to bear in mind that these heavy duty pressure washers are built differently and it's not all plastic inside, so they will be more durable. Although these two machines aren't the most powerful thing in the world, you will find they're gonna be good enough for your average weekend warrior, which means larger machines like this could be on their way out. But let's not get too excited just yet because these are just numbers. I wanna put these to the test and find out what they're really like for car cleaning and patio cleaning. I was feeling ambitious, so I decided not to connect the hose up to a tap, but instead stick it in a paddling pool. Right, so I'm gonna stick the hose in, turn it on. This might take a while. It's working. Lovely. Oh, nearly. While we're waiting for that, I thought I'd take this opportunity to use my brand new Epic Automotive products on a client's car. So I got to try out the new foam cannon, which looks a lot more superior to the classic domestic one that I was familiar with. The weather on this day in the UK was a bit like me, hot and in its 30s, but that didn't stop me getting on with the job. And when it came to washing the car, I noticed one huge drawback with the Lance. The problem is, when you want to disconnect the snow foam cannon, you have to turn the machine off and release the pressure. And then you have to screw it back on, which is all well and good, but when you're working in 30 degree heat, the car was drying out too quickly. So I feel this machine would benefit massively if it had a quick release built in. Oh yes, 
It's working. Love it. I knew you could do it. So the patio cleaner was absolutely brilliant. And speaking of brilliant, this foam cannon was awesome. It did everything I needed it to do. It didn't use too much foam too quickly. It had a nice consistency with the foam. But there again, that might have had something to do with the amazing snow foam that I was using. Who knows? So let's talk about the most important factor with these machines, and that is the price. The 4.8 was set you back £255, being the cheaper model, and if you want to go for the 4.10, it's going to cost you £315. Now, there isn't a massive price difference between the two, and there's not really a lot underneath either. The machines are pretty much identical. The numbers on paper look slightly different, but I tested both these models. I really couldn't even tell the difference. So what do you really get for your money? Well, that hose reel is a pretty good feature but it's not a deal breaker if you don't have it and here's where it gets interesting because you've got a different hose on the cheaper model the 4.8 the hose isn't very good compared to the commercial hose that you get with the 410 but the commercial hose sadly isn't quite good enough they're both eight meter hoses so you are going to have to replace them pretty quickly and another thing with the hose reel and this is what i've started to notice with my neil fisk i've had it for about nine months now and it started to wear away so i've had to put tape around it just to reduce the risk of it bursting but i know any day now its time is up and that's not just because i've been dragging it around the tires and dragging it on the floor it's also been where i've been pulling it out of the hose reels so every time i'm pulling it out i'm actually starting to see little marks appear on it now so on the reel i've got these black marks where i'm pulling it away it's actually wearing away the hose so in fact it's not really a positive having a hose reel it's actually a negative thing so i think once you factor in everything such as the build quality what you're going to be getting for your money i think for 255 pounds this is an absolute bargain but if you're still not convinced i've made a whole playlist all about pressure washers you name it we've pretty much tested every single cartridge k series we've done about four or five nil fisks we've even done a load of other pressure washers as well so if this isn't your cup of tea make sure you hit the subscribe button and do go check out that playlist right now